Hey guys, welcome to Rylo's Way. Today, we're going to do arts and crafts. Today, we're going to use shapes to make a picture. Do you know your shapes? That's a really good question. Do you know your shapes, Rylo? Yes. Okay, I'm going to put you to the test. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's see. What's this shape, Ryla? That's the circle. A circle. You've got that one right. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, ooh. Let's see if you know what this one is. That is the oval. She got it right. Good job, Ryla. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I know. Oh, oh I know you're not going to get this one. This one's going to be a tricky shape. What's this shape, Ryla? That is a rectangle. Oh my gosh! How did she know? High five. You're so good. Great job, Ryla. Okay, I'm going to give you one more shape. Let's see if you can tell me what kind of shape this is. Wiggly walkie. It's what? It's wiggly walkie. It's wiggly walkie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is a line, but it's a wiggle line. Like a wiggle line. <laughs> now you know your shapes. Now let's go look at some photos made with shapes by famous artists. Check it out. These are paintings by Yohan Miro. He became famous because of his collaboration of using shapes in his paintings. They love the way he used his imagination to bring things to life. Do you use your imaginations when you paint? Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed all that. Those pictures are so amazing and they have so much history. I hope you dive in and learn some more. So we're going to break it down on this one. Ryle is in homeschool and today her art teacher suggested that we use our imagination. Ooh, it makes me think of a fish diving deep into the ocean. What else do you guys see in those free form shapes? Can you see them? What do you see, baby? Yeah, sometimes freeform right shapes here. allow our imagination to think about what we see. What shapes do you see around your house? What shape is this? It's easy to draw something that you see. Well, somewhat. It's somewhat easy. But have you ever drew something that you've never seen before and used your imagination? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use shapes. And that's the other part of our assignment was that we're going to use shapes to make a picture. We have narrowed it down to something very specific, which is the ocean, right? Because the ocean is a friend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> so earlier, Ryle and I went ahead and we worked together and we made this one. So Ryle, do you know what picture this is? What, what animal this is? Uh, it's a stingray. It's a stingray, that's right. Do y'all see it? The stingray? Awesome. And then what animal is this one? What's this animal? A star. A starfish. And then we've got the, the algae and the corals, you know, like in the coral reef. Rala, have you ever been into the coral reef? No. No? Mommy has. I've been one time and it was so much fun. I got to see a lot of pretty, pretty fishes. But have you, uh, have you been to the beach? Yes. Yes. See, I think a lot of people have been to the beach, but I don't think a lot of people have been out in the coral reef. But that's okay. There's a lot of videos out there that help you see the coral reef. And today, we are going to take shapes and draw pictures of the coral reef or animals in the ocean. So, Ryla. I have one thing to ask you. What? Do you know what time it is? Yes. What time is it? Art and Crafts! Art and Crafts time! Yeah! Pop quiz. What shape is this? Pop quiz. What shape is this? Okay, everybody. So we are ready for arts and crafts time. So we're gonna use this real pretty, 
pretty blue. Rala, do you have your pretty blue? Your pretty yes. blue background? Because right. the ocean is pretty and blue, right? I'm going to get this. You got your colors? You got your colors? Yes. Yeah. Oops. Let's not knock off any of our shapes because we need all of our shapes. Yeah. So we have a lot of shapes, and we're going to show you what we have. We have squiggly lines. Oh, squiggly line shapes. We have a swirly shape. Yeah, see the swirly shapes? We're gonna use this beautiful blue paper. Isn't this pretty like the ocean, Ryla? Yes. Yes. And we've got different shapes for our different kinds of fishes that we can make, or, or, or I should say animals of the, of the sea. This is called a fluid shape. It has like no real shape for it. And so we're gonna use these pieces for the coral reef. And this is a starfish. That's our starfish. These are our squiggly lines for our squiggly le legged creatures. What type of creature has squiggly legs, Rayla? What, Rayla, what which uh, um, ocean animal yeah. has squiggly legs? Which one? Do you remember? Octopus. Ah, octopus. Yeah, you can make an octopus or a jellyfish. And then we've got circles and we've got rectangles and we have triangles. Or you can make a seahorse. Oh, we can make a seahorse, we sure can. And we've got diamond shapes. Oh, bless you! <laughs> and I'm not really sure what shape this is, but I'm sure this is like a real actual shape. I'm not sure. How about, how about we can call it a... I wanna say like a trapezoid, but I'm sure it's not. I wanna... But <laughs> this is what we call another fun shape that we have. I want to call, um, call a sea. Oh, uh, we also have a, a for, I think you can use this one, Rala, for your seahorse shape. Yeah. The squiggly lines. We have we have like a really swirly, squiggly shapes here. Okay, now let's Okay, so start. what are our tools that we have, Rala? What do we have here? Tell us what we have to use. We have glue. Oh, we have glue and what else? Oh, well, I already cut everything. It's very, very important that if you are going to do arts and crafts and you have to use scissors, that you have your mommy or your daddy help you cut if necessary. Now, Ryla's five years old, so she's still learning how to cut. So I cut all the shapes for us, so we don't need the scissors anymore, but you do need some scissors. You do need some glue, stick glue, or regular glue. Oh, it's like 50 cents at Walmart. You can also use a pencil to draw in some little scenes if you need to. Like if you need but, to draw, um, like, Go ahead, sorry. Like you need to draw a catfish or you can you can just like draw a happy face. That's right, that's right. Like I did with the stingray, how I drew in his eyes. Can you guys see the stingray I drew his eyes in? So we're gonna get started. I am super excited about this, Ryla. Let's start our arts and crafts. Let's go. Okay. So I need this. Pop quiz. What shape is this? Pop quiz. What shape is this? Okay, guys, this is what we made. This is how we did. I drew, we'll start mommy's. I drew um, jellyfishes. I have one jellyfish, two jellyfish, three jellyfish, and they're in algae. You see that? Ah. Hey, Rala, show a, them what you made. I made a catfish. You made a catfish? Let's see, I'll hold it for you. You tell us what everything is. So this is the starfish. The starfish. And this is the hard the algae and the coral. Yeah, the coral. And this is the kitty octopus. And this is my name. This is the kitty octopus at Rala's name. You see all that? And her name is spelled R H Y L A. Rila. Yep. Good job, Rila. So this is our art made with shapes. And next one, we're going to do a challenge. Yes. Let's come back. Y'all ready to do a challenge? Yeah. Rowler, guess what time it is? It's challenge day. It's challenge day. That's right. Okay. We're going to clean all this up, and then we're going to come right back Let's with our all these challenge. Shapes. Slide all the shapes together. Slide them. And we're going to put them in a box, okay? 
and I put them in a box. All right, so we are gonna do a challenge. So we are focusing on shapes and we're taking those shapes and we're creating a picture. We're basically using our imaginations, right? Can you say imagination, Rala? Imagination. 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 So we're using our imagination now and we're going to do a challenge. What you're going to do is we are going to reach into this box and we're going to grab out 10 pieces of shapes and then we're going to use one of these shapes, one of these papers, and we're going to put and create some type of picture and we're only going to have one minute. And you have to close your eyes. That's right. You have to close your eyes when you're picking out the shapes. Okay? Yeah, but no so, cheating. Ryla, are you ready? You're gonna go first, okay? No cheating. I'm gonna help you <laughs> do this. Stand up. Stand over here. Okay, pick one. That's one shape, two shapes. Let's see how many you got. You got three shapes. She's got three shapes here. Okay, that's three. You gotta get 10 all together. Or actually, I'm sorry, she's got two big shapes. One long, one, one short one. That's two. Okay, she's got some more. Let's see, hold on, hold on. Let me count, let me count what you got. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you get to pick your last shape. Pick one more shape. I pick any one shape in my hand. This one. Ten, show them the last shape. So ten shapes. Okay, Riley, these are all, yours. these are your <laughs> ten shapes. Okay, these are your 10 shapes, kiddo. These are your 10 shapes. You put them way over there, and don't be cheating and mixing up your shapes with my shapes. Okay, is it my turn? Yes. Okay, mommy's turn. Here we go. Let me make sure that. Okay, that's it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Count those out for me. One. Show them to the two. camera. So, one, two, and three. I pulled out all 10 at one time. Show me what I got. Show me what I got. Okay, you got triangle. I got these. One, two, three, four. I'm make sure she's not cheating me. Five. What's this? <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh. I hope I can make something cool with this. No, all right, I, Rala. I can make something cool with this. All right, Rala. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so we're going to get set up and then. We're going to come back and you guys are going to watch us so there's no cheating going on, right? No cheating. cheating. And then you guys are going to comment below in the comments and tell us who made the best portrait of shapes. Okay? Yes. All right. So let's, um, we're going to get set up. We'll be right back.